Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kind of a chatty get ready with me. Um, I'm going to be, I don't really know what kind of look I'm going to do today. So we're going to just figure that out along the way. I have my two favorite palettes that I'm going to be picking from. And yeah, we're just going to catch up. I'm going to do my makeup and yeah, we're just going to talk because I haven't posted videos as consistency as consistency as consistently as I would like to. So, I'm going to go ahead and catch up with that today. And so, I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm going to go with. I'm looking at these shadows trying to get some inspiration here. I think it's going to be blue. These blues are really, really popping out to me today, so I think we might go with the blue look. But anyways, if you guys want to um, catch up and um, see what kind of makeup look I come up with, then please keep on watching. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started, and we're gonna start by, of course, priming the eyelid, and I'm just gonna use concealer for this. You can use whatever um, eyeshadow primer you have. I already went ahead and filled in my brows a little bit because, you know, that's probably the most boring part of these videos. But anyways, this is gonna be kind of a chatty get ready, so I'm not gonna like walk through step by step exactly what I'm doing. Um, you guys can see hopefully pretty clearly. Um, if you want any like further details or anything like that, then we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and um, list all the products that I use in the description box and stuff like that. <sighs> but it feels so good to like just sit down and like kind of take a second and film an actual like something. <laughs> My get to know me video was like it was like. I don't even know if you guys can see me. I have like, I have my camera or my phone. I have my phone like just mounted. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but if not, sorry. <laughs> but anyways, so I have just had so much going on the last few months and I feel like I say that in every video, but I don't know, man, 2015 has just been so busy so full of you know change so full of new things for me anyways i don't know like about you guys or you know what's going on in your lives but it has just been nuts like i just it's a good thing you know so i'm not complaining but i just never anticipated this year going how it is for me um, new, you know, like new things happening with like what I actually want to do in life, like how I want to work, what I want to do, what I want to be, like all these just kind of like revelations. I mean, obviously I had the iconic beauty competition and I've been working on small things for that. I've been doing photo shoots and stuff lately and it's just been crazy like just stuff that I really never pictured for myself um but it's good you know it's all good stuff and there's a lot of good things happening in my life right now and I have amazing people in my life so I'm not complaining um it's just that like everything that I wanted to pursue and everything that I wanted in my life I feel like I'm starting to get it and it's definitely um, a little bit overwhelming so I guess that's why they say be careful what you wish for right but um, it's been good I think that I would be going crazy if I didn't have the people in my life that I have um, I am wanting to move to LA permanently um, I just kind of decided this, um, like a week ago. I, if you guys don't know, I'm never in one place for very long. I'm always, um, kind of on the go. I don't really 
live anywhere. I kind of live in, out of my suitcase, if you guys didn't know that, fun fact. Um, and I just don't like to be tied down to one area or one place or like one thing in general. I'm very, I never used to be like this, but as I've gotten older, I've learned to kind of go with the flow. I've learned to, um, you know, be very open-minded to things and experiences. And I, oh, I think there was, I think there was definitely black on this brush. Whoops. Try to blend that off. Well, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. We'll just go with it. But that wasn't what I wanted. Um. Anyways, like I was saying, so I'm wanting to move to LA for um, not like per not like permanently just stay here every single day, but I kind of want to start doing like some get like more serious about modeling and um, just things that I want to do kind of in that industry. And I know that living in LA would really be beneficial for that kind of stuff. So that's why I want to move out here. Um, if I used to live in San Diego, I lived in San Diego for two years and I loved it there and I've always thought about moving back there, but it's just so far from my like my mom and my family and you know it's a long trip to get back to them when I want to visit and stuff like that um, and then I have a lot of friends in the LA area that it just would be a lot more convenient for me to live in LA so I I'm like starting to think about different ways different plans that I can move out here um, and so that's just been huge like on my mind lately and I know like youtubers like all of my favorite ones are in LA <laughs> so I mean I know you don't have to live in LA to become successful um, with YouTube but I just you kind of put yourself in the right environment you know I think that environment can really shape you sometimes and so I want to put myself in the best environment possible to succeed at the things that I want to succeed in life. And so, um, so yeah, so I want to move here. Um, and I want to really like dive into like, again, the makeup, beauty, fashion world. Not because like, I'm just so into those things and they're so important to me, but it's such a huge, huge platform right now. It's so huge in society, like people are constantly talking about these types of things. And I feel like it's a great way to get your voice heard. If you're in that type of industry, um, not necessarily that you have to be that, but because I do have a huge interest in it, interest in it, I feel like the more known you are um, in those areas, like whether it's modeling, uh, makeup, YouTube, you know, the more you're known, the more people who are following you and your story and, you know, kind of seeing what you're up to. And that's really where people have a choice to be, you know, positive impact or negative impact. And obviously, you know, I want to have a positive impact on people's lives. And of course, you know, YouTube, makeup, it's not the only way to do things. There's so many things I could do to have positive impact on people's lives, but that's really where like my passion is. Um, that's really where my interest lies. And so that's a big reason as to why I want to be out here as well. So. Yeah, um, right now, what's today? Today is the 26th. Yeah, I think today's the 26th. And I have, um, I'm going to San Diego later on tonight. It's not why I'm getting ready, I'm just getting ready to, you know, for the fun of it. But, um, 
I'm going to San Diego later on tonight, so I'm hoping to see some of my old friends um, that I haven't seen in a long time from when I went to school out there. So hopefully I get this video up before I leave tonight and hopefully we see it and say, Mario, let's hang out. I know they're so busy. It's so crazy to think I would have been in my fourth year at San Diego State. I would have been graduating this year. Um, so crazy. I mean, like, that's what I always pictured for my life was to, like, graduate and, you know, probably be job hunting right now for something to do with, like, child development or child psychology or something like that. Um, it's crazy to think about. But I'm happy with my life, so that's all that matters, right? Is that I'm happy doing what I love to do. Um, my boyfriend, Nick, he is in Europe right now, and he's going to be there for like almost two weeks. And I'm like challenging myself to like get fit again because I know that he's gonna be in like Italy and like France and all these places where he's gonna be eating like probably really fatty foods. And I, when he comes back, I wanna be like in better shape so that we can finally get back on track together because uh, we're not. <laughs> We've been like kind of out of like the fitness game for like, I'm sitting here and I'm almost done clearly filming this makeup and filming this chatty get ready. And then I realized that I haven't been recording for probably a good 10 minutes. So the first 10 minutes of this video was going great. And then I kept talking to myself not even recording. So there's that. But what I was saying before the video turned off, because I think I got a phone call and my phone was on silent, so it turned off the camera. Anyways, um, I like set some fitness goals for myself to reach before my boyfriend gets back from New York. He's gonna be gone until the first week of November. And I set those goals not to like get in shape for him or anything, but to like get in better shape myself and to show him like, hey, I'm working on my fitness. Like again, I'm getting, I'm getting serious about it. Like let's do it together. Let's be motivated together. Um, you know, not to say that he's like fat or anything and I want him to lose weight, but I know that he really wants to get back on his fitness grind. We've just had some crazy things happen in the last few months, like in our lives and we've had to make some really big life choices and so yeah so I want to just like get closer to all of those goals <laughs> and I know that he's in Europe probably eating a lot of like fatty foods and stuff and so I just want to like be better by the time he gets back so that we can work on that together and um there's just so many things that I want to do I want to move permanently to LA this camera keeps cutting off and it's really, really upsetting me, but we're gonna try this the last time. I'm almost done, so hopefully it doesn't get cut off. But um, like I was saying, I wanna be permanent, permanently to LA. I know I have you know, a few friends who are trying to get out here as well. If any of you who are watching are trying to move to LA, hit me up, let's be roommates. I you know, wanna like be out here for like modeling and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so let me know about that. But there's just so many things. Again, like I was saying, goals that I want to reach by the end of this year. And the reason that I'm setting it by the end of this year is I want to be ahead of the game. I don't want to be like January 1st, I'm going to start, you know, my diet or January 1st, I'm going to do this. Like you don't have to wait for those things. You can set those goals right now and do those things right now. And so don't be a procrastinator. Don't be somebody who sets goals because if, this is the thing. You have to set a goal and then you have to start actually like following through with it. And if you are going to wait until January 1st to set a goal, it's probably going to take you longer to achieve that goal. So if you want to get your results faster, then make a plan faster. 
So, um, this video didn't go like I thought it was gonna go. I thought I was gonna film my entire conversation with myself, but the camera cut off way too many times. It's frustrating me, but I'm pretty much almost done with this look. I'm just gonna uh, fix my brows really quick and then be done. Um, let me double check it's recording still. Okay, we're still good, we're still recording, so let's make this really fast. I, my, like, one of my goals is to get a camera because this whole, like, shutting off, not recording my videos properly thing, it's not cutting it for me, and I know it's not cutting it for you guys, so. In 2016 and by the end of 2015 I will have a new camera to record and make YouTube videos on so that you guys don't have to deal with this nonsense and that I don't have to deal with this nonsense because we don't want to deal with nonsense. <laughs> we have lots of other things to do so I'm just gonna set my brows And then put some highlighter on. Oh, that was a lot. And that completes this look. It actually came out really pretty. I really actually like this. Okay, so this is the final look, you guys, and um, just thank you guys all again for watching. I really appreciate all of your guys' comments, feedback, anything that you guys leave to let me know that you are enjoying my videos. I really appreciate that, and I'll give you guys a little bit more of a close-up of this look. All the products that I use will be listed down in the description dis description description box below, and I look forward to shooting, filming, so much more. Um, I have so many content ideas for my channel, and um, I can't wait to kind of watch them manifest into reality, and I have so many fun and exciting things coming, and one of my goals, like I said, get a camera, and then... Um, start filming more and um, putting more stuff up. I really enjoy it and when I get back into it, I kind of realize that I have that spark and that, you know, joy again. So um, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed chatting with me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.